Okay, so today we are going to talk about a very important quantity for us experimental physicists. It's called heat resistance. Uh, heat resistance is very uh, has become very important nowadays because of the two dag materials coming in graphene, LASTO, and all kind of this uh, exfoliating materials. So heat resistance comes very handy. Now, why do we talk about it? So first of all, it's, it should be very clear to us that resistivity is a very important quantity. It does not depend upon the material. Uh, so uh, I, on the same lines, we talk about the sheet resistance. Okay. Uh, so um, if you see here, you know that already resistance is equal to rho L by A. A and is the, A is the area of the cross section, which is W into T. Now people are very smart because in two dimension material what happen is uh, this one of the um, axes or let's say here in this case jet direction uh, the electron is confined I mean you don't you, you can't have a motion in that direction very very thin so uh, uh, it, if it has to happen then electron has to come out or charge particle whatever is the uh, charge particle has to come out of the sample which is not which is not the case so it's very very high potential so what they dis, uh, they comes up with this this number they take t very smartly upon rho so it become rho by t and this l by w now these two quantity rho by t is called sheet resistance t is a, uh, so it's like rho divided by some constant i mean t is a constant for particular material so once you know t it is done L by W is number of squares. So, um, yeah. So, if you see this, rho by T and R has the same dimensions because L by W is the dimensionless, so rho by T and R has the same dimensions. But people call it in a in a very uh, people like to call it in a very very funny way. So, uh, uh, we'll we'll talk about that. So here from here, uh, Rs is equal to rho by T, you can deduct the rho also. Now playing like this, uh, you can find sheet resistance is R upon W by L and if you write it, it comes in this kind of, uh, this kind of way, uh, R upon L upon W, and so sheet resistance called ohm per square. Now. Uh, so if you see this it is like a resistivity which comes in very handy it does not depend upon the material quantity uh, material properties uh, this is very important to us now people while designing uh, whole bar they, they take care of this things very well let's make a whole bar okay so what I'm, I'm drawing a whole bar for you uh, which is like this and if you see this, this guy is your width and this guy is your length. So people design in such a way that L by W comes in 1 or 2 or some N. So integer number which makes the calculations very very easy. So the so the, uh, what I wanted to say to you is in two dimensional material or very very thin material there exists a quantity called, like resistivity it's called sheet resistance I, that's all